In times of disaster, people are increasingly turning to social media for news, help and comfort. Websites such as Facebook and Twitter have become virtual lifelines allowing people to share information about their own conditions. Ben Deacon reports. During the Queensland floods in January, Facebook and Twitter emerged as a powerful way for communities to exchange life-saving information. Social media means that the people on the ground, the actual community that's involved in the crisis, now becomes a source of information and now becomes active within that crisis. Researchers at the IT think tank, the National Information and Communication Technology Centre, are working on a search engine that scans Twitter for critical information and passes it on to emergency services. We are using a machine learning and computers to take that language and turn it into categories and understanding that then tells us what is important within those tweets, what do they refer to, and then giving that information automatically to people who can use it. But it's not only authorities developing social media tools. Bushfire Connect is a community group formed in response to Victoria's Black Saturday bushfires. The information from the agencies that the affected communities received was often late, sometimes not forthcoming at all, and in reverse, triple zero was overloaded and they couldn't get through. The team of volunteers has created a free online network that allows communities to instantly exchange official and eyewitness bushfire information. Um, just fill in uh, the title of your report, a short description, select a category, um, smoke or fire, and um, press submit, and that's it. And with half of all mobiles in Australia now connected to yeah, the right. internet, the most yeah, important piece of safety equipment in future disasters could be your phone. And ben Deacon, yeah, ABC News. Over.